All right, BFit Nation, looks like we are live and ready to go. Welcome in. As we get settled in, I'd like to welcome you all to episode number 100 of our BFit Live programmed workout team. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. I'm joined by two of my ambassador partners here, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry over here on my right. How are you doing today, ma'am? This is good. <laughs> doing great. I, and I will say, Sergeant Berry here has been with us since our first episode here. So <clears throat> again, we've come a long way since that first episode of episode one here, haven't we? We have. <laughs> we got to start somewhere, so we right. like that, right? Exactly. And just yeah. like we like to say, you know, starting is almost the hardest part. Just like, you know, today's workouts, uh, you know, starting may be the hardest part for a lot of us here. So uh, just joining us and taking that first step into starting off with us here is uh, it's a great step for us today. It could be the toughest that you may have today, but join, welcome, and as always, over to my left here, I have Captain Bush with me today. Yes, welcome in, newest member to the team here, uh, BFit Nation. So we'd like to welcome Captain Bush here to our workout as well. Yeah, glad to be here for episode 100. It's a momentous occasion, so glad to be here, ready to get some sweat in. <laughs> Absolutely, episode 100, knocking on two, two years, though. It was a two, two episodes shy here. Or, or four, either one. Uh, four episodes. Either way, so welcome in again. Episode 200, we're here to really kick it off with a bang here. We have a great hybrid style of workout available for us today. Again, if you're new to the channel, welcome in. Uh, with our BFit Live programs, this is a chance for us to really move our bodies in a positive and forward progressing way uh, with an active body, right? Uh, we're, we're setting aside a little bit of time to focus on ourselves, to focus on our health and our wellness with our exchange BFit program, just one component of our 360 degree uh, viewpoint, right? Our holistic approach to our health and wellness program team. Um, again, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're joining from today. Let us know where you're watching from. And let us know where you're engaging from. And, and as you progress through today's workout, drop us a note, uh, cheer us on. We always love the motivation here. Uh, we love to see the comments and questions and, and any type of uh, engagement that you have. Again, we have our monitors up to see exactly what kind of comments are coming in. So drop us a note, give us a little high five, a little virtual high five, if you will. Uh, we always enjoy those teams. So, uh, as we get started, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and dial in today's workout team. Uh, let's go over the four different movements that we're going to execute for today's hybrid style of workout, as well as the timing. Uh, we will demonstrate each of these four movements that you see on the screen, and then we'll go ahead and go into a dynamic stretch to get our bodies ready to work, and then we'll jump into today's workout. All right, let's start off with movement number one. We have a sumo squat to a bicep curl, utilizing a pair of dumbbells. Movement number two, we have a push-up jack, okay? A little bit of, a lot of lower body, upper body combination movement for movement number one and movement number two. Movement number three, focus on some lower body engagement with a static hold and a bent over row. So uh, really attacking our mid to upper back and our lats with that bent over row, alternating arms, all right, team? So a pair of dumbbells for movement number one and three. And movement number four, we're looking to isolate our core, engaging our core with a low plank with an added T rotation. And we're gonna demonstrate each of these four movements. The timing for today is gonna to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds, team, all right? Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, I have my monitor up as well, so go ahead and leave us a comment, leave us a hey. Uh, let me uh, just chime in and read off on a few. Jennifer here from Shepherd Air Force Base in Texas. Love your routines, you make it easy, and uh, for all types of individuals. Uh, once again, Jennifer, yeah, absolutely. And we have some really great modifications from Siren Berry and Captain Bush right here that will go ahead and uh, step you through the process of progressing or regressing through each of our four movements. Jessica, congratulations on episode 100. Thank you so much. Christine, happy 100 as well. And our MWR team, uh, Army, um, I'm sorry, MWR morale, where for, well, well, shout out. Shout out Kevin Bush. And recreation. Our team over here representing Strong Bands. Hi. We're sharing your 100th episode uh, with our Facebook team. Congratulations. I love the support uh, from all of you here as well. So as we get started, let's go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements. That way we know exactly what we're going to get into. Sergeant, both Sergeant Barry and Captain Bush are going to demonstrate the four movements as well as some modifications to consider 
uh, depending on our fitness level on where we can hit within these four movements. So starting off with our sumo squat to a bicep curl. All right, team? We have two movements here and two options. So uh, movement number one, let's go ahead and if you have, let's say, one dumbbell that's heavier than the other, we have our sumo squat setting ourselves up uh, first and foremost with our feet wider than shoulder width apart. From here, we're gonna push those hips back and Sergeant Barry is gonna execute the sumo squats with a heavy, heavier load here. So actually removing the dumbbell uh, curl into the sumo squat only. So modification one or option one rather, eliminating, eliminating the bicep curl and just going into your sumo squat. Remember your feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Your toes are flared out just a little bit for your comfort on your knees, keeping our chest up and pushing those hips back to engage our lower body glutes and hamstrings. Movement number two, or option number two rather. Option number two on our sumo squat to bicep curl. We have Captain Bush performing the bicep curl on the very top of the movement here. So again, feet wider than shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees at the top position, dropping back into your sumo squat, keeping our chest up. And at the very top of the movement here, you're gonna have that added bicep curl for a little two for one action with that lower body, upper body combination movement. All right, team? That's gonna be movement number one with two options there. Movement number two, we're gonna come down to the deck here. We have a push-up jack. So we're in our high plank position. We have a push-up. Sorry, Barry's gonna execute a push-up with a step in and out out of your jack. So right foot out, left foot out, right foot back in, left foot back in, and then we're back down into our push-up, leading with our chest. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders for the most support and comfort over those wrists. Absolutely, so push-up with a step in and step out. And again, into our push-up, if we need to modify, we can drop down to our knees as well for that additional support, leading with our chest into our push-up. And Captain Bush has that push-up in and out, in and out, with an explosive jack on the very top. So as you notice, Captain Bush's movement has an explosive movement at the very top with an in and out on both hands and feet. So just like your jumping jack, if you will, like you would perform at a standing position, we're gonna include that at the bottom of the movement for a real explosive type of push in, push out movement with a push up jack. All right, that's gonna be movement number two. Movement number three, we're moving along into a hinge position. So a few key points here uh, into our dumbbell row with an alternating arm pull. We're gonna hinge at the hips here. So we're gonna push those hips back as if we were pushing in a car door. From here, our back is nice and flat, our chest is up, shoulders roll back, and our weights are close to our body, right by our knee. From here, we are alternating arms left arm and or right arm pulling towards our pocket like you see Sergeant Barry is doing right here really engaging our mid to upper back and our lats as well as Captain Bush here nice even control again nice form here pushing those hips back nice flat back and our head is tracking downward to a spinal alignment formation there all right that's going to be movement number three team thank you sir thank you ma'am and last but not least movement number four we have a low plank rotation, which Sergeant Barry is going to perform right here. So with that low plank, our elbows are gonna be stacked right underneath our shoulders. Nice flat back, pushing back towards our heels. From here, we're gonna rotate up. So we're gonna take that left or right arm, rotate up into a T formation, trying to keep our hips square to the floor, really engaging our core pushing that navel back towards our spine here. Again, hips are square to the floor here and we're pushing back into our ankles, into our heels for a nice uh, contraction of our core. So nice stability work here for movement number four and a few options here with a modification. As Captain Bush is doing right here, regressing back in this movement, low plank position off of our knees, but really engaging our core as well. Um, and if we need to regress uh, from that T rotation, we can come up off the knees and then hold in our low plank position. This will be a regression or a step back from that T rotation. So eliminating the rotation if we don't have that today and staying in that low plank position for the full 40 seconds of work. All right, team? That's gonna be the four movements that we have for today. Again, a hybrid style of workout with our exchange B-Fit 100th episode here. Um, I'm gonna say it is warming up in here like it normally does, and I'm sure wherever you are at today, team, it is gonna warm up for you as well. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer says, uh, Army Strong. Uh, so, very shout out, very nice shout out over here uh, to Army Strong. Air Force Strong as well. All right, I'm doubling, 
I'm double joining my wrist. Oh, we got some comments coming in. So great to see you, team. Great to see you, Fit Nation. Again, uh, grab that towel, grab that water. We're going to need it for today. Uh, we're going to go directly into some dynamic stretches. That way we can really warm up our bodies, get us prepared to work, and then we'll jump directly into our workout team. So with that, let's start off with a few of our favorite dynamic stretches uh, just to get our bodies prepared and ready to work. I say favorite because they normally are uh, consistent throughout <laughs> our BFIT lives. So uh, let's take that right leg, we'll extend it back to our hips here with a dynamic quad stretch. And then if we'd like, we can add that little extra extension into our upper body to feel that stretch in your lats, your shoulder mobility, your mid to upper back, pushing those hips forward. Good. And then we're gonna work through each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds. So go at your own pace here. You can sit in each of these movements for as long or as uh, quickly as you may like. So quick transition if you're really feeling like loosening up really quick. If you feel like your hips are tight, push those hips forward, engage our quads hip flexors with the added smile. Good job, team. All right, last three, two, one. All right, team, let's go ahead and take a nice wide step here. We have uh, <clears throat> some lateral shifts from our left to our right with lateral lunges here. So uh, with this, our toes are gonna fix forward. And from here, we're just gonna shift our weight over to the right and then to the left, all right? Really thinking about blood flow to our lower body, keeping our chest up, pushing those hips back, Nothing too aggressive, feeling that stretch on the inside of our thighs. Again, with that sumo squat and that sumo stance being wider than shoulder width apart, you'll feel a little bit more lower, I'm sorry, lower body as well, but a lot, a little bit more inside thigh engagement out of that position. So uh, a great way to warm up here if you've been seated for a long period of time. Uh, it's a great way to warm up your hips and your lower body. Last three, two, one. All right, team. Come to the front of our workout space here. We're gonna go with a reverse lunge with an added reach, overhead reach here. So we'll take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back into our reverse lunge, drop that rear knee down, right arm comes up, and right arm reaches over towards our left side. We're right back to standing position. We'll take that left leg down into our reverse lunge and reaching over to our right side. Good. Those are the two movements there. Cycle through as quickly or as slowly as you would like. Again, sitting in each of these movements uh, to your comfort. Again, warming up our bodies here, warming up our minds, getting us ready to work for our hybrid style of workout, episode 100. There we go. All right, team. Shake that one out here. Let's go to the top. Uh, last but not least, a favorite of mine because it looks like the YMCA. Uh, YTW is here to really focus on, let me, so let me say by the same, this is a great uh, way to really warm up our mobility, our shoulders, our mid to upper back, especially into that T push-up rotation with that thoracic rotation. So these YTWs come in handy as well as our push-up into our jack. So set yourself up here, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to take that center stance here from here. We're gonna extend those arms into a big Y formation. Thumbs facing the back of the room here. Helps engage a little bit more of our mid to upper back here. Back to our center, into that T formation. Good. Back to center and a nice W formation with our arms. Feeling that stretch in our shoulders, our adductors. Good. Back to center, big Y. We'll cycle through this a little quicker. Good, a big T. Big W here. Nice deep breath in, showing off yeah. biceps here. Good. One more time with a Y. Nice deep breath in. Exhale with our T, bringing that heart rate down just a little bit more. And a big W here, showing off those biceps. All right, team. Grab a drink of water, grab your towel, find your space again. Right, let's get ready to work here. We'll find that clock. We'll get us dialed in. Again, we'll run through the four different movements for our hybrid style of workout today. Movement number one, sumo squat to an added bicep curl, if it's there. Movement number two, we have a push-up jack or a push-up step in, step out, and we're back in. Movement number three, bent over row, alternating arms. All right, and movement number four, a low plank with a T rotation to finish us out four rounds, all right? Four rounds, 
40 seconds on, 20 seconds off team. Looks like we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started in 10 seconds here. Find that weight. Up in five, three, two, one. All right, team, kicking it off here with our hybrid style of workout, sumo squats with an added bicep curl as option one. Option two, you can eliminate the bicep curl and just go into a goblet style of sumo squat, or you can hold it at that lower level into your sumo squat. Again, with that sumo stance, our feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are flared out for comfort just a little bit. Good, keeping our chest up as we drop down. Last eight seconds here. We're adding in that bicep curl, palms are facing the front of the room. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights here. We On the deck here, we have a push-up jack. We like to say round one, we're learning the movements. Two, three, four. We will execute and progress up. All right. Five seconds here, we have a push-up jack. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Again, leading with our chest down into a nice, strong push-up. Good. Again, option one here, we'll step out, step in with our feet into our push-up position. Extend into that nice, explosive movement if we are there. You can also step out with our arms as well. Last 12 seconds, team. Good. I hear Captain Bush working back there. <laughs> there we go. Last two, last one. Good job, good work. All right, standing up nice and tall here. The sweat is coming in. <laughs> Captain Bush, the sweat's coming in. All right, bent over rows, alternating arm here. Remember to push those hips back so we grab those two pairs of dumbbells. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. Hinging at the hips here, bringing that back down nice and flat. Keeping our weight close to our bodies here to minimize pressure on our lower back. Again, push those hips back. Nice flat back, head is looking down. If at any point you feel that need to reset, let's go ahead and stand up. A nice controlled movement. Take that nice deep breath, last 10 seconds. Hinge back into that lower position, and we're working for the last five. Out of three, two, one. Recover here. Good job. Good job. Good work. <laughs> last and final movement here. We are back down on the ground here. Uh, up, down, up, down, right. <laughs> really balancing the movements here. So that low plank position with that added rotation. Coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. Again, a few options here as we work through our low plank with our rotation. We can support ourselves additionally by regressing to our knees if needed. Keeping that back nice and flat. Try to keep those hips square to the floor. Our eyes look up at our fingertips as we rotate up. Good, last 10 seconds here. We want to eliminate the T rotation, stay in that low plank position here for four, three, two, one, and recover here. Right. All right, standing up nice and tall. Now's a great time to add in that hydration break. Emily, good to see you in here again. Thank you so much for joining us, leaving us a comment as well. Let's get it done from Birmingham, Alabama. Eddie, giving us a shout out. Amy, you all are awesome. We appreciate that. You're awesome. <laughs> <We> are, <laughs> you all are awesome. We appreciate it again. Episode 100 here. Pushing through. I appreciate that. And just like our chief chats with a round of applause here from the audience. <laughs> 20 seconds here to recover, reset, recalibrate, if you will. And then we'll head into round two. Again, team, starting from the top, one through four. If we could scale up, this is a great time to really see where we're at fitness wise and really try to progress into that little bit of a progressive overload with some of our resistance training. So five seconds here, let's jump into our sumo squat, the bicep curl. All right, team two, one. Starting with that stance. 
A little wider than shoulder width apart, pushing those hips back. Nice controlled movements with your weight. Goes a long way, a little time under tension here with that nice control. What's great about controlling that weight with a little slower tempo is you can really read your body, right? Really see where you're at today. Really see how your body's feeling, how it's reacting through each of the movements. Really feeling those muscle groups engage and activate. Last five seconds here. We're out of three, team. One, and recover here. Drop the weights. Drop them, drop them. <laughs> uh, I will say, 15 seconds. Early on, started very, and myself, we didn't have any weight to choose from during the pandemic, so we had to get creative. Water jugs, water, water uh, detergent bottles, uh, things of that nature. Cats. Cats. <laughs> uh, cats cheered us on, I, I like to say. All right, push up with that explosiveness or that step out into your push-up jack. Good. And again, with that regression, we can step out with our hands to that high plank and step out with our legs out of that high plank. If we're here today with that fitness level and we're gonna work on some explosive movements, we can go both at the same time. Last 10 seconds. Good. Add in five. Last three, leading with our chest, two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that deserves an applause. <laughs> 10 seconds here, find that weight. All right, again, a few points here, a few cues. Remember to push those hips back as you hinge at that weight. So starting very Ham Cambodia here, hinging at the hips here, alternating dumbbell rows, pulling towards your pocket. Right, pulling towards your pocket. You can see Sergeant Barry's back is nice and flat, pushing those hips back, really engaging some lower body activation. And as she pulls with that load, engaging her lats as well. Same over here with Captain Bush, right? Nice flat back. You're thinking, if you're testing and you're thinking, man, what can I do to really elevate my overhead toss, right? Or my, my spring drag carry. Right, thinking that lower back or mid upper back and posterior chain. Five seconds left here, really isolating his lats here. Heads looking down, nice spinal alignment there. We're recovered here, 20 seconds. I'm having you work a little extra. <laughs> good job, team, good job. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> All right, seven seconds here, team. Low plank with that rotation, with that added rotation. Again, if we're in that low plank position for 40 seconds, Let's go ahead and stay here, all right? Nice spinal alignment from our neck all the way down to our heels. Option one. Option two, if we need to regress, we can drop to our knees. Still think about engaging our core nice and tight. Nice and tight here, okay? And then that option to come into that low plank with that added rotation. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Last 10 seconds here. Good. Nice deep breath. Exhale as you come up into that rotation. Helps out. Good. Add in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Two in the books here. Half time. <laughs> Half time. Half time. Sound the buzzer. Yeah. Sound the buzzer. All right. Again, thanks for joining us. Episode 100 of our BFIT Live program worker workout. Joining by Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry and Captain Bush over here getting in today's workout. Again, really setting the tone for your week. Normally we are Mondays, every Mondays at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. However, today we're, this week we're making an exception. We got a, a special Wednesday edition, right? Really pushing us through that midweek hurdle. Yeah. Hump day. Hump day. 20 seconds here, team. Um, Cam Bush was shouting out some of the some of the production that we've added yes. throughout our episodes from our early inception till now. So uh, again, great stuff today, BFit Nation. Starting out round number three, jumping into that sumo squat with a bicep curl. <sighs> Working through our movements here. Again, with any type of added resistance, added load, right? We wanna make sure our movements are nice and controlled. Good, really moving with the purpose throughout our movements. Good. Again, in a squat, 
position with our legs. It's a little different than our normal conventional squats. So think about that. It's a little bit more lower glute activation. Feel the outside sweep of our quads activated into that high standing position. Last two, last one, last rep, finish it out. There it is. Good job. It helps. It helps to sound off. <laughs> All right, team. Into that round three movement two. Oh, are we at three? We're at, three. We're at push up jacks here. Push up with a jack, high plank position here. My team. Good. <laughs> That's all right. Push through it, team. Again, stepping out like Siren Berry is doing, showing us that great option to step out with our feet or back in. Challenging ourselves like Kevin Bush to that little bit of explosive movement, building on that strength. Good. Last eight seconds, team. Out in five, three, two, one, and we're standing back up nice and tall. I hear that's where the air is at. Yeah. <laughs> get, up there, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there and get it. All right, fine. Two weights here. Alternating bent over rows. Kicking us off in three, two, one. All right, team. Again, pushing those hips back here. Squeezing at the top, laden with your elbow back to the ceiling here. Engaging our lats. Good, take your time. Work through this 40 seconds. Again, is a long time for a bent over hinge position, right? So stand up, reset if and when you are needed. Hinge back into your movement and continue to work here. Last 10 seconds. Core is nice and tight. Again, thinking about pushing those hips back. Nice flat back, head is looking down. Two, one, and time. Stand right back up. Good job. <clears throat> Good work, team. Good work. Pushing through. Yeah. Round three here. Absolutely. Low plank T rotation. Or a low plank hold. Coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. Again, doesn't look like a lot of action is going on down here. But we are asking a lot of effort from our bodies to keep us into that low plank position, keeping our hips down and square to the floor as we rotate, or our gaze is following our fingertips up towards the sky. Good. Keeping on our toes, last 12 seconds. Nice control here, team. Good job, good work. Push through, last five. Add in three, two, last one, and time. Good job. Set it up. Sorry. Can't push jump though. He wants that air. He wants that air. Yeah, I gotta get the air. <laughs> 60 seconds here, team. Great work. Finish it out. Three rounds. We have one more round to go. All right, team. This is where we get a chance to really scale up. Progress maybe that tempo a little quicker. Maybe it's choosing that heavier weight for this last and final round. Last round, best round, team. 30 seconds left here. Yes, yes. 25 here, team. Again, our exchange BFIT program, just one component, movement, right? One component of our 360 approach to a health and active lifestyle team. We like to stay ready. We like to stay resilient here. And we are looking to stay fit. Sumo squat bicep curls coming up. <clears throat> All right, team, we are up in three sumo stance. Palms facing in front of the room. Down into our squats end to our curl. Good, our elbow should be right in front of our diaphragm, pushing in as we support that bicep curl. Good. 20 seconds here, last and final round here for today's workout, 15 seconds. Again, with these full body workouts, we try to compact a full body workout, as much movement in as little time as possible. Last three, two, one, time. Good job. Again, it's great to isolate just the bicep curl 
great to isolate just a sumo squat. But incorporating that full body movement can go a little bit longer and add a little bit more benefit into a compact, less than 20 minutes of work here into our BFIT lives. All right, team plank, push up with an extension here. Again, stepping in or stepping out as needed. Last and final round. It's our best round. There it is. Last round, best round. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Good. Again, if you need to regress on your movements down to our knees, lean with our chest. Last 10 seconds, team. Hold it with us. Work through. Good. Last five. Out of three, two, one. Good job. Stand back up. Stand up nice and tall here. Good job, team. Good job, BFIT Nation. Again, sticking with us. Hybrid style of workout is what we have for today. It's BFIT Live. Two dumbbells here. The air is still not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bent over rows here. Utilizing our dumbbells. I want to find us that air. <laughs> He's taking all the air. <laughs> 23 seconds here, team. Again, let, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from after this round. Chime in. Maybe a good thing that we're not in the Texas sun during today's workout. 10 seconds here. Let us know where you're joining from. Again, what's great about these workouts is they can be performed anywhere. Last three, two, one, good job, good work. Stand up nice and tall. Last and final movement here. Put away the weights. Put away the weights. You won't see them again unless you extend your workout for today. We're on the floor here for that low plank T rotation. Engaging our core nice and tight here. Two, one, here we go. Low plank here into that rotation. Good. Moving at your own pace here. Good. Again, our gaze is following our fingertips. For some reason, I like to wiggle my hands at the top. I don't know what that's about. Spirit fingers. <laughs> Spirit fingers. Can't push this. <laughs> You're right about that. Eight seconds here. Push it out, team. All the way through. Finish that 40 seconds. Two. One, and time, oh, good job. Said 40 seconds, I was like, this is not 40 seconds. <laughs> good work, good work. Time very good job. Ken Bush, good work, good work. what a finish out here today, team. Yes. Again, <laughs> finishing up today's Be Fit Live. Again, episode 100. Sorry, Barry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with you and keep you on your toes here. Fill me in on, on how your journey of our Be Fit Live workouts has been. Uh, for you in regards to our VFit lives and I guess I, I know I've seen progression is so much from from the start of episode one till now so again you want to share with us on how that's kind of been as well for you yeah I definitely I'll go back and look at some of the videos and I can just see that I feel stronger than I looked early <laughs> on um, but I do want to highlight you know 100 episodes and we do have an awesome production here but I like to go back to our roots when we started because it really teaches you that you don't need a fancy gym in order to work out and stay fit. And we had to find creative ways to do it. And I think that's awesome. So that was my favorite takeaway because I still utilize it. I work out at home all the time now, mm -hmm. so. Uh, that's, that's great. I think that's a great, a great uh, hi highlight, a great addition to how our BeFit Live programs have, have really gone, have, have kind of carried us through uh, tough times or challenging times, uh, you know, keeping that mindset of a health, <clears throat> a health conscious, active individual just moving that body right forward is forward no matter how far or or how uh, time intensive it may take right moving forward is the ultimate uh, ultimate goal and just having that health and wellness state of mind team and then joining us for a few weeks already on a few of our episodes into Captain Bush how, how is how is your I, I, I won't say I mean you've had a, a, a great progression I mean you started off with a great solid foundation so how is our beef at live programs how is it kind of uh, joined into your fitness routine or or how has it kind of uh, helped uh, assist you and in, in, into a 
uh, army perspective of, of, of how beneficial some of these movements are for training for events. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think the, the reminder that the B2 program has for me is that it, I mean, within 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you can get a good workout. So, mm -hmm. I think I think a lot of people have the, the mindset that, you know, they have to be in, be in the gym for hours, like a gym mm -hmm. with tons mm -hmm. of equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. No, you just need 15, 20 minutes, do some calisthenic mm -hmm. exercises. You got dumbbells that are 10, 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, the more reps you do, the heavier it's going to get. So, <laughs> so uh, I mean, right. I think that's that's a, that's a, a big key of the B Fit program is, is setting that reminder mm -hmm. and then supplementing the the, the, the products that are, that are being sold in ASIC. So, uh, but it's, it's an amazing program. Right, absolutely, and I think that's a great segue into some of the programs and the products that we highlight here at the Exchange Family with our Exchange B Fit program, taking that 360 holistic approach here. If you're at an exchange installation, if you're on site, if you're visiting us from uh, shopping uh, online, right? Visit us at shopmyexchange.com forward, uh, shopmyexchange.com. Uh, that'll take you to our online uh, location to shop and browse through our wealth of active uh, and, and, and tools to help you keep you on the right track. If you're in store, shop us on uh, in that uh, installation, right? Surf through our BeFit department uh, hit, hit up our uh, fitness trackers in our electronics department. Uh, you can find anything from activewear to sporting goods to fitness trackers, uh, sports nutrition, uh, things that, uh, of that nature to really help keep you and assist you in leading that Be Fit lifestyle team. If you go outside from our exchange main stores into our wellness or into our mall area specifically, uh, look for our wellness services such as the ones you see on screen from optical to dental. Uh, optometry and uh, some locations have chiropractic care uh, and cryotherapy. Durable medical equipment can help uh, really brace you for <clears throat> movement in, in, in all different ways, team. Uh, Shopmyexchange.com forward slash wellness can give you a little bit more additional, give you some additional information into our wellness services that we offer, as well as if you're curious about any type of wellness services that you may have at your installation. Uh, again, that website will have um, search through your location and you can dial in what services you have. Uh, again, uh, nutrition playing a key component of our movement, of our wellness services. Nutrition playing a key point. And with that, we have more than 600 exchange restaurants to offer better for you options uh, when you're on the hunt, really thinking about refueling yourself and fueling yourself into a nutrition uh, type of lifestyle. Again, 80% of, of that health and wellness that nutrition key component here. So uh, browse through our menus or over 1,600 exchange restaurants to really dial in that nutrition to offer a better for you option. And then if you head out to our express stores, our convenience stores, our C stores, uh, look for those healthier choices. Shelf tag like you see on screen right now. Uh, surf through our aisles where we have more than 400 items that are tagged healthier choices to take the guesswork out of smart snacking options team. Again, it may be low in sodium, low in calorie, high in protein, or again, a high in fiber type of content on specific products, but taking the guesswork out of uh, what we should be kind of uh, going towards for refuel, replenishment, and that added nutrition, smart snacking options for Keys and our Express Stores team. Um, that's almost everything here. If you're looking for additional information, uh, again, all of our BFIT Lives are programmed and cataloged. Uh, they're, they're stamped and cataloged up on our Exchange Hub. What's great about the Hub is you have uh, a lot of different information here, scan this QR code or type in that website, exchange, shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit. We have fitness, we have wellness recaps, we have nutrition, and we have gear. Find additional information about our exchange 360 approach and our holistic approach as well uh, to really support an active lifestyle team. We are here to help support you, your family members, spouses, retirees, active members from both Army, Air Force, and our guardians right uh, so uh, let me um, again episode 100 we are so happy that you joined us for today uh, let us know in the comments where you joined from let us know how you uh, enjoyed today's workout how it pushed you how BFIT lives have encouraged you and really motivated you to, to kind of take that uh, step forward into your health and wellness path team um, before we close out uh, Sergeant Barry any last words on your behalf from uh, from yourself from I wanted to say, I meant to say it earlier, but how awesome is our team, right? We've got the exchange representative, the Army, the Air Force, right, the right. Air Force, no. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, and then, of course, all our viewers from at home, too. So what a cool team that we've got. I, I think awesome. what's... What's, what's great about that perspective and that, and that touch point is that building that community of our BFIT Nation, right? Building that community, building that support, 
uh, that encouragement, that motivation that when it gets tough, uh, you know, sometimes we need that additional little push and uh, we're here to help. We're here to support, provide with the exchange and our BFIT program. Again, what a great team that we have here, right? We're help supporting and, and, and we're help encouraging. Uh, Ken Bush, I know, uh, any last words before we take off on this? Well, just, just reiterate, 15, 20 minutes, of, uh, 20 minutes a day, you, you can get a good, uh, good workout in, get the blood flowing, get your, uh, get your mind aimed mm -hmm. in the right direction, and you know, you can attack the day. But uh, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure, you know, <laughs> being here and, and celebrating the 100th episode. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. There so, we go. Yeah. Absolutely. So 100 down and 100 more to go. Right? We're just uh, keep pushing, keep progressing, keep moving forward with our exchange Be Fit program. Again, shopmyexchange.com. Uh, is where you can find us online forward slash with that be fit is where you can find additional information and if you're looking for additional content facebook playlist be fit all right that's going to be our full catalog there as well as our youtube channel at shopmyexchange.com hit that subscribe or like button team all right that's it for all of us here on our exchange be fit live program workouts we are signing off here be fit ambassadors here roy montes senior master i'm barry and cam bush with us until next Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we will see you again real soon. Have a great rest of your week.